Hello, so this is the uh, four month update. So today is Thursday and four months today, I had my hair transplant in Istanbul, Turkey at Elite Hair Transplant. So it was 2,300 grafts at the front and a further 1,200 on the crown. Hopefully you can see that. And yeah, this is my four month update. So this side, I do feel is really thick, you know, like you can see it there. Um, I do still get a few spots, which from doing research is quite common um, along your forehead. I mean, I've got one here as well, but, and like at the back of your head, the donor area. Um, so yeah, that's why it's a bit red there. But in terms of how my hair's looking, on this side, it's still a bit thin. So four months, um, you know, I, I'm, I'm not concerned. I'm not overly concerned, I think between six and 12 months, it really starts to thicken up. So I am hoping that it does there, but I do I do think it is noticeably different. You know, you can kind of still see through. It's not, there's not as many hairs sprouted up. You know, it seems to be more bigger gaps between each hair, whereas here it's just, yeah, it just seems really thick and full and, and finished really on that side. I'd be surprised if that gets thicker. Whereas on this side, more to do. So this is where I'm at. You can see from the side there. My hair on top, I've not um, had the length on top cut, just the sides blending into a bit of beard. So I had my hair cut last week, just before we went back into another lockdown. My hair is getting longer, as you can see, and it always sticks up on this side when I, when I sleep on it, you know? So if I don't shower my hair in the morning, which I didn't do today, um, it does do that. But yeah, here is my hairline. So this is the side that I've always been most self-conscious of. And again, it's weird, like right now at four months with my hair quite short still, you know, like if I put it all for, you know, there's not a lot to play around with, you know, it's not like I've, I've particularly styled it in any way, you know, I'm not using any product, which they told me not to for, I mean, they've advised against it in general really, but especially in the first year, not to really use any product on your hair. But yeah, when I'm looking at myself now, I'm kind of seeing what I saw before the transplant. But obviously my hair is a lot shorter. So whereas before the transplant, I was not, I was literally styling it in a way to cover some of these gaps and, you know, where my hair had receded. Now it's just fallen into place because that's the, that's the way. So I, I do think for me personally, especially on this side, as I said, I'll be much happier when it is a bit longer, a bit thicker and, and grows in this direction and I can style it a bit if that makes sense. Uh, this is this side. And my crown, I've noticed my crown does, does look a bit thicker, you know, over the last, um, over the last month, it seems to have got a bit thicker. So I am still taking Regain, uh, the foam, you know, rubbing that in. I do that once a day now. So a couple of people did advise me that you don't need to do it twice a day. And I did watch the, uh, the the doctor who, I can't remember what his name was on, on YouTube, who, who did say that, so that was great. And they also take the Finasteride once a day as well. That's only the one MG. So it's not particularly strong. I've been taking that for just over three months. So whether that's really kicked in or not, I'm not sure. So I am hoping this side thickens up, like I said. But yeah, this is where I'm at at four months. I do want to give a shout out to someone called Cousin Justin, who left a comment on my first video and it said, um, you are the definition of a soy boy grower pair. Now, I didn't even know what this word was. I had to Google it. So Cousin Justin, drop me an email at hairlineconfessions at gmail.com and we can discuss your comments. Drop me an email with your phone number. I'll ring you up. We'll FaceTime and you can explain your comments a bit more there. Maybe it was the fact that I was saying it was a bit painful. But, um, but yeah, you can explain now and show that you're the big man, yeah?